So Atalanta lead the charge over in Italy after winning this past midweek. But joining them, of course, is Jose Mourinho and Roma. That's right. Both sides sit pretty at the top of the table. But will they both be there this weekend or at the end of it? We're going to take a look at it. All of it next. That's right, folks. Bam's game in our prediction video today will afford a match to number five in Serie A. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button back. All things Rovers related, Serie A related, woo, cup related. Later this year, it is a very, very spicy looking league with many, many contenders to go uh, as champions and, of course, even compete for the for the Champions League. But, of course, who will be there this coming weekend or at the end of it? We'll take a look at it all of it in a second. A big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And, of course, don't forget to vote, vote, vote. We are, of course, wrapping up uh, the votes this week. Weekend. Can we get at least a bit of recognition for the channel? I hope so. You guys have been fantastic voting anyway. I know some of you have done it. Uh, I have got a tracker. I'm tracking you. I'm, tra I'm stalking you. Stalking you guys. But of course, please do it this weekend and get in there. I think the, the, the vote's shut Sunday. So please, please, please vote, vote, vote. Best of, uh, in video for an organization. Best club content creator for a football league. And best content creator as a whole. Cut the four-shot vote rules. It's 100% free, guys. I'm not, it's not even, you know, this is it. If, if you're going to do it, you've got to do it now. Please, please, please get in there and vote, vote, vote. You guys are absolutely fan dabby dozy, regardless if you vote or not. But really, get some, get the guys a bit of recognition who, who tread the boards at Ewa Park and beyond. So here we are, the games from last weekend. Let's take a long hard look at it. Of course, actually, this past midweek, it's been uh, it's been a double match week. What's going on here? Sort that shit out. There we go. I think that's cleaned it up a little bit. It is not Lee. Huh? It is, of course, City. Ah, so here we go. Sassulio against AC Milan. End up all square. Deal deal in the end. Roma did pick up a cheeky 3 0 with a Monza. I went with a 2 0 with myself. Internationally with a 3 1 over Cremonese. I went with a 2 0. Uh, meanwhile, Hellas Verona with a big 2 1 win over M. Pauli. Bear with me. I'm going to fire up the Super Brew. Uh, kicking off was Sam Dory against Lazio. Ended up as a 1 1 draw. Good result that for Sam Dory. Happy days uh, for my boys getting a point in the bloody bag. Kicking off forward, it was uh, Udinese. Uh, they took on uh, Fiorentina and that ended up as a 1 0 with Udinese. Shocker Rooney, you would imagine, on that one. Juve with a 2 0 win of a special, of course. That was a no brainer there. Napoli did draw with Lecce. Surprise, surprise. That, of course, uh, made them lose points at the top of the table. Atalanta, the big winners, 3 1 win over Torino. 2-1 for me. And then wrapping up, wrapping up Bologna uh, and Salatina drew 1-1 in the end. Let's take a long, hard look at it then, shall we? Of course, this is the table right here, right now. And as you can see, Atalanta are leading the charge. 10 points have a possible uh, 12. Uh, Roma are up there as well. Same deal uh, with Internet Shiny third and Napoli in fourth. Down the foot is Monza, Cremonese and Sampdoria going down. But hopefully that will change very, very soon. Let's take a long, hard look at it then. What are we talking about? We're talking about the Super Brew. We're going to fling it over here, guys. And you can take a long, hard look at it as well. Um, can I get rid of myself can i get rid of myself i don't know let me have a quick look here if i can do this uh yeah we can just about get rid of myself here bam boom shoo. there we go so here is the super brewers jump in of course and have a look at the round we can take a look at the round don't look up here uh but of course this is the the, the scores for the round uh vinnie hong with 16 points there absolutely fantastic job there buka keke up there as well 14.5 summer 2018 also 14.5 and then crisp cap 13 and then the chasing bloody pack dirk did pretty shit uh i'm down here only six points absolutely wank atrocious uh so not good shepherd also did uh, absolute hair even to say they probably followed me as well car mucking not great wooden spoon and winky tom stainer and then the chasing bloody pack what about the overall leaderboard then it looks like vinnie hung's up to 12 we'll take a look at it in a bit more glory then here we go uh, so the leaderboard looks like this it's book with 53.5 points summer 2018 also up there 49 uh 49 uh, points of raymond running to barcelona easter yannick and tayab 786 as for me uh, not doing good. I'm down 26. I am uh, so down three spots. Uh, Winky's also had a nightmare. 14 spots dropped. But Vinny Hung up to 12 spots, up to 17. Doing business. Uh, doing business. But some of 20. Biggest one of the big moves at the top there. Up to second as well. It's still plenty of time for you guys to get involved. If you want to get involved, it's right here. Cutley Fortress Italy picks. It is 100% free. Uh, so please do us a favor and get involved there. And don't forget to vote, vote, vote as well. Cutley Fortress vote for overseas. It is 100% free. Best in video for an organization. Best content creator as a whole. Best club. Content content creator uh, for the Football League as well. You guys can do this. It's free. And of course, you could be a best mate for life and you could, of course, give us uh, a bit of recognition for the channel. Who else covers Syria A in all this detail? Why is this stuck on this? There we go. Oh, sneak peek of my next pick. So here we go then. Of course, coming at you this coming weekend. It is match day number five. 
Uh, some, this is a little unresponsive here. A little bit unresponsive in machine. Uh, but of course, Fiorentina against Juventus will kick us all off. And that, ga that match will take place on Saturday, September the 3rd. Now, these two sides, I pitched the 59 times in 1904. Nine wins for Fiorentina, 33 wins for Juventus. And we've got 17 draws, of course. Fiorentina, though, uh, unbeaten. Uh, actually, just one win in... Uh, in uh, actually, not one win. Um, without a win in four now. Without a win in four, 58% form for them. Of course, drawing three of the last six. I guess Juventus side who won two, lost two, and drawn two over the last six. However, unbeaten last four, but a couple of wins and a couple of draws. Last time around, though, over in Fiorentina, it was a 2 0 win for Fiorentina back in May 2022. Uh, meanwhile, of course, Juventus did pick up a 2 0 win over Spezia. Of course, Udinese did beat Fiorentina last time around. Fiorentina, though, haven't scored a goal in the last four games. Goodness gracious me. Uh, uh, so they need they need a strike. Of course, the window is shut. 2 1 is your Fiorentina, 9 4 draw. 7 5 is your away win. I'm back in another draw here. Fiorentina st staggering out of the blocks uh, with a difficult start so far this season. AC Milan, I guess, Internazionale, of course, a bit of a derby, this bad boy. Of course, it is the Milan derby. Played each other 70 times since 1993. 23 wins for AC, 28 wins for Inter. I've got 19 draws, of course. Milan, AC, that is, of course, unbeaten in the last six. 83% form, I guess, Internazionale, so just one defeat of the last four. 58% form for them moving forward. Last round, though, over in the, Gi in the Giuseppe Mezza, of course, over in AC Milan, uh, there was a nil nil draw. That was in the semi final of the Coppa Italia back in March 2022. Last time, pleasure, though, in the league, though, was a 1 1 draw back in November 2021. Uh, Internazionale, just one win in four. In fact, it's very, very tight between these two sides of the last six games. But however, Inter coming to us on the back of the three women of Cremonese, AC with a 0 0 draw against Salsulio. It's actually been back to back clean sheets for them heading into this. The, draw, the, the odds here 7 4 is your hosts, uh, 9 4 is your draw, 13 8 is your away win here. So in the end, I'm going to go with a 2 1 win for AC Man to take to the house. And of course, uh, the three points in the back. Kicking off all is Lazio against Napoli, also on Saturday, September the 3rd. Now, these two sides have played each other, according to my eyes, 48 times in 1983. 60 wins for Lazio, 23 wins for Napoli, and we got uh, nine draws, of course. Lazio, though, unbeaten last four, picking up a couple of wins and a couple of draws. 58% form for them. Moving on. Meanwhile, Napoli, of course, coming to this unbeaten the last six, 75% form, however, back to back draws. Last time around, though, over in uh, Roma, of course, it was, when I say Roma, I mean uh, Stadio Olimpico. Uh, it was a 2 1 win for Napoli back in February 2022. Uh, kicking off forward, of course, uh, they played last time around. Lazio with a 1 1 draw against uh, Sampdoria, Napoli with a 1 1 draw against Lecce, and of course, uh, like I said, it's been back to back draws for them. The odds here, 96 energy, Lazio, 5 2 is draw. 11 8 is your Napoli on this one. Close. Uh, it will be very, very tight, these two sides. And I am back in the draw here. 2 2 in the end to take it to the house. Kicking on forward. It's Cremonese against Salsulio, of course, on Sunday, uh, September the 4th. Now, these two sides have played each other five times. 2006, two wins for Cremonese, three for Salsulio. And we've got zero draws. Cremonese, though, four defeats on the spin. 33% form for them. Are they out of their depth? Uh, of course, up against Salsulio's side, have won two, lost two, and drawn two over the last six. That's 50% form for them. Moving, of course, uh, forward to the sun. Last time around, of course, uh, in Cremonese, was back in uh, 20, 2007. It was 2-1 win for Salsulio. That was in uh, a really low division. The Lega, Proma, the Lega Pro Prima Divisione Group A, I believe. Way, way, way back. So it's been a long, long time. Of course, two to one is your Cremonese. Five to two is your five to four is your way win. Back in, of course, South Studio here with a one-nil win and another defeat in the bag for Cremonese. Spezia against Bologna, of course, coming at you also on Sunday, September the fourth. Now these two sides have played each other twelve times. So two thousand six, three wins for Spezia, six for Bologna, three draws, of course. But Spezia though, fifty percent form over the last six. One, two, lost two, and drawn two, of course. However, without a win in three. Meanwhile, Bologna coming to this without a win in four. Thirty-three percent form for them. One uh, lost two one, and drawn two over the last four. Last time around, of course, over in a uh, Spezia was a one-nil win for Bologna. Back in November 2021, Bologna pick up a draw against Salantina last time around. Spezia with a 2 0 loss against Juve last time around. The odds on this we have Spezia 2 1 for the victory, 11 8 is your win, 23 10 is your draw. 1 0 win in the end for Spezia for me on this. Kicking off always Verona against Sam Doria coming at you on Sunday, September the 4th as well. Taking place over at the Stadio Macento Batagodi. Pleasure the 24 times in 1996. 3 wins of Verona, 13 wins of Sam Doria, 8 draws, of course. Verona, though, without a win in 5, 33% form for them. Up against the Sam Doria side, just 1 win in 6, 42% form for them moving forward as well. Last time around though, over in Verona, it was a 1-1 draw back in uh, April 2022. Uh, of course, Sampdoria picking up a 1-1 a draw against Lazio last time around. Verona with a 1-1 draw against Empoli. Both sides looking to get back to winning ways this weekend. 21-20 is your Verona. 13-5 is draw. 13-5 is your away win. I am back in a draw here for Sampdoria, making back-to-back -back draws for them. Point in the bag and a big one on the road. Moving on to Udinese up against uh, Roma, of course. Coming at you also on Sunday, September the 4th at the Stadio Frulli. Played each other 16 times in 1993. 16 wins for Udinese. 33 wins for Roma and 11 draws, of course. Udinese, though, just one defeat past five. 58% form for them. Up against the Roma side, five wins in the last six games. 92% form for Roma. Yes, indeed. Last round in Udinese, it was a 1-1 draw back in, of course, March 2022. Roma are unbeaten against Udinese over the last four. Pick up three wins and a draw to boot. Roma, they go. Coming into the, on the back at three, no win over Monza. And, of course, Udinese with a one win over Fiorentina. Last time around, of course, 60 to 5 is Udinese. 11 to 4 is draw. 2017 on is, of course, Roma here. Back in, of course, Mourinho's boys with a 2-1 win for them to take it to the mixer. And, of course, into Monday we go. Triple header. We have Monza. We have Atalanta coming at you as well at the Stadio. 
Napolitano, pleasure the four times in 1999. One win for Monza, three for Atalanta, and zero draws. Four defeats on the spin for Monza right now. 33% form for them. Up against the Atalanta side, unbeaten the last four, but get three wins and a draw to boot. Last time around, though, in Monza, was back in Serie B back in October 20, uh, uh, 1999. It was a one win for Monza. Uh, of course, meanwhile, Monza coming to this on the way at 3 0 loss against Roma. Atalanta with a 3 1 win over Torino last time out. Of course, the odds here, 90 4 is your host, 60 5 is your away win, 7 4 on is your Atalanta on this. Going to go with a 3 0 win for the leaders, and of course, that will put them back uh, top of the table no matter what goes on elsewhere. Meanwhile, Salatina up against Empoli, of course, coming at you also on Monday night. They each other 22 times in 1998, 6 wins for Salatina, 10 wins for Empoli, 6 draws, of course. Just 1 win of 6 for Salatina right now, 42% form up against Empoli's side, uh, without a win in 5 now, 42% form for them moving forward as well. Last time around, though, over in uh, Salatina, it was a 4 2 win for Empoli back in October 2021. Salatina with a draw last round against Bologna, back to back games that actually unbeaten in the last three against the uh, Empoli side, also unbeaten in the last three, pick up three draws in a row. Last time around, though, I'm mean, sorry, the bookies 5 to 4 is your Santina, 12 to 5 is your draw, 11 to 5 is your away win on this. I'm back in, of course, a 1 0 win for the Santina to make another uh, unbeaten start or continued unbeaten start for them uh, in the season. Actually, they haven't lost once, so uh, not, not, not unbeaten. You know what I mean. Anyway, and then wrap it up, wrap it up. It's Torino, it's Lecce, it is, of course, at the Stadio Olimpico Grande Torino. Played each other 16 times, so 3 6 wins to Torino, 5 wins to Lecce, 5 draws, of course. Just one defeat the past five uh, for uh, Torino, 58% form up against the Lecce side, uh, without winning at least the last six games. Goodness gracious me. Last round, though, in Torino was a 3 1 win for Torino. That was in the Copa Italia. Round of three back in October 2020. Last time played each other in the league, though, it was a 2 1 win for Lecce back in uh, uh, September 2019. Let's see with a draw against Napoli last time around. Torino with a loss against Atalanta last time around. The odds are for this 11 to 10. Uh, sorry, 11 to 8 on is your Torino. 11 to 4 is your draw. 4 to 1 is your away win here. Torino to take the three points and the spoils for me on this one. That, my friends, is what I've got for you. And if I'm right, this is what the table will look like, of course, heading into this. That, my ladies and gentlemen, is just about it. But of course, before we bow out, it's no, I've, got to, I've got to throw this in one more time. Please vote, vote, vote. Best in video organization, best club content creator as a whole, best content creator for a football league. It is one. 100% free. You're doing us a favour. Let's get some recognition for Serie A. Of course, your votes in Italy count just as much as those votes in England uh, and America and beyond. So please get in there. Vote, vote, vote. Of course, if you're in Africa, Asia, Australasia, South America, at, at, uh, Antarctica, wherever you are in the world, just vote, vote, vote. Every single vote counts and hopefully will give us a little bit of glory in the end. But that, my friends, is it. Be sure, of course, give us some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Who else, of course, is here week in, week out? Not just covering this league, but the Spanish league, the German league, the championship, the non-league. It is me and, of course, Blackburn Overseas. But please vote, vote, vote. 100% free. But until then, guys and gals, we're going to be out.